I think my favorite telling of the story uh, so far uh, was the animated one they just came out with, with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, he, I think, was just so natural and just really didn't have any affectation. Um, it was a cartoon. He was just the voice of it. Um, but I think it was just really clever how they put that whole thing together. Um, I, I wasn't actually aware of the Grinch musical. Um, I, I've heard, I heard it was out there and stuff, but I, I didn't really know the music going into this or I've never seen the show. And I'm just really taken by it. I think this production is so charming and so well thought out. And just, uh, like I said, another um, incarnation of this classic story that we all know and love. You know, watching Jim Carrey's Grinch was... It was so cool. I mean, he's he's just such a talent. Um, but it was very much Jim Carrey doing what Jim Carrey does. You know, he's a bit great physical actor. Um, and just, I think the biggest thing I learned from him and what I always learned from Jim Carrey is he just goes for it. I mean, he takes some big swings. And I think that that is the most essential thing about this role is you have to take some big swings. You can't come in and give a kind of an average performance, you know, you just gotta take some risks. And it's also the scariest thing about this role, you know, cause it's just like, okay. But I think about all the roles I've gotten to play in my life and I've never played anything like this character. You know, it's, um, so this is my chance as an actor to really just go for it. And it's, it feels dangerous and it feels scary but it's also so liberating at the same time. I feel really just powerful being up on that stage. It's a, it's a great feeling as an artist. You know, I think this Grinch production was supposed to be Grinch live. I think that's what it was in essence meant to do. Like the, you know, Hairspray Rent and all the other um, live shows that we've seen. But, you know, living in the, in the world of COVID, uh, that has made it completely impossible um, the actors are all in one bubble, the camera crew is in one bubble, and then the, um, the, the stagehands are all in their own bubble. So we have to, as a cast, leave, like when we're done with the scene, we have to leave first, and the camera crew leaves, and then the set gets rearranged, and then the camera crew comes back, and then we come back. So it's, it's, it would be impossible to do it um, live. Also, the fact that we're shooting this in London, so to do it live, we probably have to do it like at 3 a.m. or something like that. And, uh, I want to be sleeping. I'm just gonna be honest, uh, but we put a lot of work into this. Um, but it, it it is gonna have that live sensibility because honestly, <laughs> the shooting schedule is very ambitious. Um, I'm a little scared that we are not gonna to get to everything. Uh, we'll probably have at least one chance to do everything, and maybe if I feel like maybe say I I feel like I messed up on one part of the song, we might be able to like do that one part again. But yeah, we're really, it's really going to feel live because we're probably going to have one, maybe one and a half takes of all these numbers.